Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. Burial no matter chamber. What the professor is keeping from me. The dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Ha ha, yes, the British Museum. Ha ha. Tea time, ladies and gentlemen. Tea time. Shall we get the tea out? But where's the tea? Where's the tea? Where's the tea? No, it's not in this closet. Where's that bloody tea? Tea! There! Okay, that freaked me out. Like that. I should probably cut that shit out. So yeah, I've took... Oh shit, that does not look right. I took uh, British literature, or English. Like, uh, I, my English class was British literature, and I, I really did enjoy it, and for some reason this just takes me back. I'm going to be sad that I miss all that. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Bredenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, must he really say that again, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal, Wilhelm House of Gerich. Uh, so I think this is like, this takes place in Germany or something like that? I mean, they're talking about Prussia, and that's what, uh, that's what old Germany used to be called before it actually became Germany, if I if my history is correct. Somewhere in that region anyways. Between Europe and Russia. A lot of history there. A lot of history, and I love it. I love history. Ah oh, crap. More dark areas. Fuck that ambiance. I hate that ambiance. Hello? Hello? Oh. Holy shit. Fuck was that noise? You all heard that, right? I'm afraid that if I open up these doors, something will pop out of nowhere. Scare the shit out of me for no bullshit reason. No, let me just check other things first. Box, thank you. Uh, it's a good thing that uh, Daniel's not freaking out, so that's a good thing, at least. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. How so? It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Oh. I was trapped. Oh dear. It's terrible. Okay. Now I do I gotta admit, I do love the music when like you when we have Daniel reading the The notes. That kind of music I like, but this bullshit ambiance. Like that, that tussling noise. Who's out there? Jesus. By the way, I'm playing this alone in the dark, guys, so... Oh! Fuck, fuck. 
Is that a piano I hear? That's a piano. I'm not alone, am I? Someone, someone, or something's here with me, isn't there? Ah, crap. How do I always get into these kinds of messes with getting, get with games? Sorry, I thought I heard a whisper or something like that. Or a little noise or something like that. Okay. Hello? Hello? Calm down, Daniel. Cal calm down. Cool your jets, Daniel. Cool your jets. Relax. It's just the darkness. Let's light this bitch up right here. Relax. You're in the light, okay? So you just need to focus to look in the darkness for a little while. I'll be back in the light. Calm down. Calm down. Cool your jets, Daniel. Cool your jets. Relax. Don't be afraid. If you truly are an archaeologist and a man of science, you do know that these things don't exist. Relax. Oh, really? Is that so? Local history. Okay. I suppose we gotta find a way through it. Calm down, Daniel. Relax. Jesus. You're in a wide open area. No one's gonna hurt you. What? What? The fuck's going on? I'm hearing noises. What's what's happening? I gotta go in there, don't I? Fuck. Oh shit, that's blood. That's fucking blood, isn't it? Hello? Oil? Was this the piano that was playing? I can't tell. Shut up, you stupid cock, would you? Calm down, Daniel. Calm down. Relax. What? Oh, shit! What? 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 What happened? What the hell just happened? Status report? Anyone? Oh. Ah, oh, Christ. Ah. Uh. Okay. This is out of the question. I I need to find another way out. I'm assuming it's that thing there, but I'm gonna look around before moving on to anywhere else, so relax, Daniel, relax. Just the darkness. I hate the noise that these things make as they creak open and shit. Here. What? Oh come on, Daniel. Thank you. Alright, now read the note. Whoa! Hello? Oh god. Oh jeez, what's happening? 17th of May, what? 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. What? My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh. Oh, I'm actually... Okay, I guess I... move through this thing right here. It this was enchanting... waiting Whoa. for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Yes, indeed. How intriguing. What the hell is that thing? I, I thought I was playing Amnesia, not Indiana Jones and crap. Oh my god, how bright and shiny. I reached out, closing what? it in my hands. Whoa. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark 
brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Wow. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Uh, right. What's with these glowing particle stuff right here? Um, uh, hold on, guys. Let me just... Right. Okay. Did I hear the piano again? Was that part of the music, or was that actually a piano being played somewhere nearby here? Hello? Hello? What? Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. Shadow. It's just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here. Here. And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. So what have I learned? There's some new supernatural things that's going on in this castle? Wait, l listen! There it is again, the, the piano. I don't know if that's part of the music in here, or if like, there's something actually playing the piano. Or someone playing the piano. Let's hope it's someone. Alright. Um, uh... Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's get, uh... Mr. Cher! Mr. Cher! Come on! Beauty sent... Beauty told me to tell you to go on a secret mission for me. Just simply break down that wall. Ready? Three, two, one... Good. I'll get inside that room and clear it out for me. Make me proud. Clear? Okay, good. What? What? Jesus. You have to be swift when you activate Whoa. the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. How did I just hear? I thought I heard a snarling noise or something like that. Okay. Um, uh, some sort of secret mechanism in the local history room. Okay, let's look for that, but I think we should use a bit of light, so. Oh, whoops. Something's in here with me, isn't it? Shit, I don't want to know. Christ almighty. This is the whole history room. Okay. Now. I want to get that, so I'm supposing we had to break it, so. I'm gonna break it. What the book? Oh, okay. I could have just dropped it on it, too. Altstadt and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lores of Alts Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories of surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is a picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. Oh wow, that's a long time ago. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. 
Many have cited them over the years and described them as horde revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder.